Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel again. Yesterday, Manjaro 20 was released, so let's have a look at it. So here we go, we booted up the machine from the ISO and now I need to select first my key table as I don't have a US keyboard here. So let's go ahead and select CH. And then I need to adjust also my time zone. So let me go here to time zone and Europe and the city closest to me right now is Zurich. Now, if you have an NVIDIA card, you might want to go to the driver section here and select non-free so that the drivers are loaded. In my case, I'm gonna cancel this out and I'm gonna go for the driver free and then I'll boot Manjaro just by hitting the option here. And it's gonna take a moment to boot up into the machine. And there you go, we are now in the Manjaro desktop. So let me first adjust my screen resolution here very quickly. I go to the settings and display and I'm gonna choose my resolution and click apply. And I'll keep the configuration and click close. There you go, you can center the window here. So we have the Welcome to Manjaro screen and let's launch the installer by clicking the launch installer here. We could also double click the install Manjaro icon on the desktop, but I'm just going to go ahead and launch from the button here. And I'm going to select my language. So I'm going to go for American English and click next. Now my time zone is correct because I have already an internet connection. If you don't, you'll be asked to select eventually a Wi-Fi when you boot up the machine the first time. And then we just hit next. I'm going to select my keyboard here and, and I click next. Now I want to erase my disk here, install Manjaro. So I'll just click the first option here. We could also choose to have manual partitioning to create our own partitions. And we have a choice here to go with no swap or swap with hibernation or without hibernation. So I'm going to go for no swap this time. And I have only one disk here, so this selection is correct. And I could also choose here to encrypt the system. So if I click here, I could enter my passphrase, but I don't want to do this right now. So I'll just uncheck this box and click next. Now I can create my username. So I'll type in my full name here and I'll pick my username and I'll call the machine Manjaro XFCE and I'll pick my password as well and retype it. And I want to use the same password for the administrator account. So I'm going to check this box here and I don't want to log in automatically. So I'll leave this checked off and click next. So here we can choose which productivity suite we want to install. We have the choice between no office suite, LibreOffice and free office. So I'm going to go for LibreOffice here. So I'll just click LibreOffice and click next. And here we have a summary of things which are going to happen during the installation. So it's fine with me and we can click install and confirm by clicking install now. So we just have to wait now basically that the system finishes installing and I'll be back when it's done. So the installation is finished, so I can click here restart now and click done. And the machine is going to reboot and I'll meet you back here on the desktop in a second. So here we are on the Manjaro desktop and we are welcomed here by the welcome screen. And we have several things we can do here. So we can look at the documentation for Manjaro. We can also go to the support forums or chat rooms and we can also have more info about the project. We have also here an applications button, which allows us to customize Manjaro the way we want to. So let's have a look at it. Let's click on the applications button here. And let me go here full screen so that you can see better. And we have here several categories we can choose from. So for example, let's go to browsers and expand the triangle here. And we have a selection of browsers we can use from here. So right now Firefox is installed by default. But I could choose also to install another browser if I wanted to and to remove Firefox as well. Same goes for other programs. So let's go, for example, to the email clients here. Right now, Thunderbird is default in Manjaro, but I could install also Evolution if I wanted to. And the same goes for Office Suites and other packages as well. Let's have a look also at the backup category here. So by default, TimeShift comes with Manjaro, but if you prefer to use Dejadoop, you can go ahead and select this as well. And once you selected your software, you can go up here and click update system. And basically it's going to reconfigure the system to the choices you just made. So this is a great tool in Manjaro and it makes the distribution really how you want it. So I definitely recommend you to explore this option if you install Manjaro to have exactly the configuration you want. So let's close this up. So in Manjaro 20, there are no big new features, but there are a lot of new improvements and more refinements as well. 
Most of all, as it says in the release note, the UI has been polished and there is a new theme as well. So let's have a look at it. Let's pull up the settings here. And let's go to the appearance tab. And we have a new theme here, it's called matcha. Matcha, as you probably know, is the Japanese ceremonial tea. And this green shade here, it's reminiscent of the matcha tea color. There are several variations of this theme, and some of them are very subtle, but they make the user experience more polished, and you can have fun really exploring these options. So let's go back here to the all settings, and go also to the window manager, because we have the same theme as well in the window manager. And that is nice to have a consistent look throughout your desktop. So another interesting thing here in Manjaro 20, if we go under the display settings here and we go to the advanced tab, is that now we can configure new displays when connected. So by default, this option is switched off, but I can switch it on. And we have also a new option which automatically enables profiles when new displays are connected. So this is a nice feature to have if you are working with multiple displays. You basically just need to select your profile once and once you reattach the display, it's going to be applied automatically. So this is a great feature to have. Let's go back to the old settings here. And let's scroll down and go to the Manjaro setting manager here. And here we have some options about the kernel. So if we click on kernel here, we see the version of the kernel running on this system. So right now we have kernel 5671, which is the latest one, but we could choose also to go to another kernel here. We have a selection of LTS kernels here that we can use, and we have also some experimental ones as well. So of course you always have to keep in mind, if you go to the experimental kernel, you might be expecting some bugs and some crashes, but if you're having fun with bleeding edge technology, this is definitely an option for you. And let's go back here to the whole settings. Then under hardware configuration here, we can see the drivers in use. So I have a driver here using my gigabit ethernet and my wireless, and I have the video Linux driver for my Intel card. So let's quit out of this window here and go back to the setting center. We have also the possibility in Manjaro to customize our display manager. So if we click and enter our pseudo password here, Again, we have here the same theme, which is matching the desktop, so the matcha theme. And we have also the icons theme here that we can change. We can also change the fonts of the display manager, the desktop background, and also, of course, the user image as well, as well as the window position of the login prompt. So this is really customizable and you can really make it look like you want to. Now let's close the window here and let's go back to our programs. And let's have a look here. Under internet, we have, as we saw before, we have Firefox. This is going to be for sure version 75, which is the latest version available in Firefox. And indeed, it is version 75, so it's nice to have. Let's close this up. As a default mail client, we have, as we've seen before, Thunderbird, which is right here. And we have also already Steam installed. So if you are a Steam lover, you're going to be happy to have Steam already installed here. Under multimedia, we have already VLC, which is a great media player, plays basically almost all video formats. And we have also, of course, our Office Suite here. Let's open up LibreOffice to see what version is this. And let's go to Help here, and then about LibreOffice. And we have version 6432, which is the latest version, so it's nice to have. And let's close the window here. And let's go under System here, and let's click on the Add Remove software. So this is Pamac. This is the GUI version of the Pacmac Manager. So let's go to About here. And this is version 9.4. So what's new in this version is that Manjaro here enabled by default snaps and flatpak support. So you have now a wider range of software that you can download, whether from Pamac or for Pacman on the terminal, not only from the main repositories, but also as a snaps and flatpaks. So this is nice to have enabled. So let's close this off and close the window here. Now, if you want to go back to the welcome screen where you can adjust your system, it's always here in the programs menu. You just type in Manjaro and it's called Manjaro Hello. And when we click it, we basically go back to the first screen here where we can select applications. And again, you can configure your system here. So let's close this up again and let's pull up a terminal. And I'll go full screen here and increase the font sizes and I'll type in sudo pacman dash s y y y and hit enter enter my sudo password and i see it synchronizing my mirrors however i want to make sure that i have always the best mirrors available so to optimize the mirrors in manjaro i normally use this command so i'll type in sudo pacman dash mirrors and i'm going to specify the country here so i'll type in dash c for country and then i'm in switzerland so i'll type in switzerland 
And then I want to connect this command to another command. So I'll type in twice the ampersand. And I want to also make sure that these servers are sorted by speed. So I'll type in sudo pacman dash mirrors dash dash fast track. And then we just hit enter. It's going to take a moment to do this. Now I know that I have Swiss servers in my mirror list and they are rated by speed. So let me clean up the terminal and close the window. So this is a quick overview about Manjaro 20. As I said at the beginning of the video, there are not big new features, but there are a lot of improvements in the UI. XFCE feels very polished in Manjaro, and this is also the reason why it is its flagship desktop environment. And if you want to have the bleeding edge software packages and you like the XFCE desktop environment, Manjaro 20 is definitely worth a try. So there you go. This is a quick overview of Manjaro 20. It's a very nice distribution. XFC is very polished and it feels very solid. If you want to try it out, I leave the link to the ISO in the video description below and let me know what you think about it. I hope you liked the video guys. If you did, please hit the like button below and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Subs always helps us out. And if you want to support the channel, you can visit our Patreon website or you can donate through PayPal via the website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video guys and I'll see you in the next one.